Uh, so I went in and they're like, welcome to our coven. But they said it like jokingly. Yeah. But in my head, I got really inward about it. And I'm like, if there were a real coven, they would say it jokingly. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, right. Like, yeah. Started d- overthinking everything. Yeah. And then I did my show and I'm like, and there's a duck. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> and they paid me in this like little pouch. They put the, the cash in like a little pouch. And I took the cash. And I'm like, here, you can have this back. <laughs> oh, the pouch. They're like, no, it's, it's like a thing. And I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> And then you went to the priest? Um, no, and then I had ramen. <laughs> because, you know, if you go to a... I have to fuck <laughs> bug. Yeah. So I leave oh, the ghost at the ramen. He bug bug. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's true. Did you get a small or a medium? Huh? Oh. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> What's, What's up, Pandis? Pandis? You're listening to the Pandis All Podcast. Join us as we unpack the flavors of being Filipino. And American. We're your hosts, Dre Magix, the fictitious professor, and EJ Villaman. And we hope you're hungry. Because there's plenty to go around. What's up, Pondies? Welcome back to another episode of the Ponda Soul Podcast, the funniest podcast on the internet. Uh, we're your hosts. My name is Dre Magix. I'm the fictitious professor. And I'm EJ Villaman. Before we get started, make sure you go on all the internet things and hit all the buttons. Hit subscribe, follow, comment, maybe comment after. Mm. Maybe that's a maybe that's a postmortem yeah. thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, but today we are going to talk about the holiday season. It um, is Pasco. It it's is like the most <laughs> set, like s- s- sad, melancholy Christmas song. Dude, it sounds like a national anthem. Yeah. There's melon in there. Yeah. Melon. Oh, it's melon. melancholy. And then like the national it's anthem nice. sounds so upbeat at points. Right. And then it's like, I'm only a musician, so I only know the melody and not the words. So Christmas time. Uh, Christmas time, yeah, the burn months. Uh, if you guys didn't know, we oh, you're cold, you're yeah, cold. You wow, said, you said burn months. Wow, it's, and I'm a man, and it's burn. Uh, <laughs> you're bear romance. <laughs> it is the start of the holiday season. The Filipino culture, especially in the Philippines, they start the Christmas season in September. September one. September so, one. This is September two. Do you think? Do you think it'll even? Do you think there's a point in the time where the point in the time? Do you think there's a point in time where it'll leak over to be like October thirty first? <laughs> like you think it'll get closer and closer to just like every year is Christmas. So then it skips thirty na- thirty days. Oh. October September right September October November. Yeah September October. Oh November, August. December. Oh, oh August. excuse August. R- wrong way wrong way. Yeah I <laughs> I know what he's talking I went, about. I went. Uh, he went like. I went, uh, I should have went baliktad. Wrong when direction. I went uh, derecho. Yeah, you went derecho right. bayan, not Wait. baliktad bayan. <laughs> baliktad bayan. <laughs> Do, okay, so that's like one of the customs that that uh, came over from the Philippines here and it's injected in the Filipino-American culture here. Or did you guys already se- celebrate in September growing up? Yeah, I, my family didn't, Start celebrating uh, the holiday season until after November, November, right? Like Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. just like the I guess the Americanized way. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even know that the Philippines started celebrating the holiday season in September until like I forget if I saw it like on a show. So you started doing film events. Yeah, film events. Yeah. I think I feel like the my first like real. Well, when I was I was in the Philippines in October, and when they were already was eleven. <laughs> all, when only nine? the prime no. prime numbers. <laughs> no, no. Uh, and yeah, no, for sure. When I was in the Philippines in October, there, like all the uh, malls had Christmas decorations, mm-hmm. and then they told me, yeah, they celebrate Christmas starting in September. So then I started like taking note of it, and then I guess became more pop culturally aware, or at least like from my observation. Yeah, I don't know if that was a thing all the time or just recently came to be. What do you think? 
I don't know. I haven't really um, experienced it that way because when I did go to the Philippines when I was one, three, five, nine, seven, eleven. Um, All the uh, Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Avogadro's number. <laughs> um, it was during April, so I never really saw what it was like during <laughs> This Christmas. is weird. Yeah. Even for here. <laughs> How come there's still lights? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I didn't take down the previous one. <laughs> right. Or there's some kind of fiesta. But, yeah, yeah just like Fick, um over here, I started, I think, celebrating after Thanksgiving. Like we felt like it was bad luck to put the Christmas tree up during. Actually, no, I take that back. There were times at Thanksgiving when the Christmas tree was up, <laughs> which confuses the hell out of me now. Mm. Hmm. I have to talk Dang. to my parents about Some that. Some trauma got resurfaced, huh? Dang. Yeah, I know for myself, the we always waited until after Thanksgiving, even for like the tree. And I don't know if that was just like a financial thing where it's like, oh, trees are, <laughs> you know, less expensive the closer. Like, if you get your tree the same day, they're trying to get it rid of trees at that point. Mm. Right, right. You know what I mean? Or like the day before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I remember our, our yeah. family, whenever we bought a tree earlier, it would already start turning brown by the time it mm-hmm. got Christmas. So then we would start buying. Like, if my mom would always decide last minute to buy a tree. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm already beginning of december which is like oh let's get a tree yeah and they're still gonna stay fresh through new year's dang that's crazy I, when like we bought trees like it never turned brown at all it was always green and maybe the leaves just fell off so was it slowly because yeah it lasted <laughs> about 15 years it was fake <laughs> it's yeah. plastic mm-hmm. i didn't know that real trees were a thing <laughs> yeah we, we chopped it down at ralph's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i was like dang these people are rich with these real real trees <laughs> we got it from the garage yeah <laughs> <laughs> we found ours in the garage. Uh, <laughs> we got to plant it back. <laughs> we, yeah. Right. You guys are... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, eventually... Okay, time out. When you had a fake tree, though. Yeah. Original box. You put it back in the original box. Oh, oh yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> or... Yeah. Glade black plastic bag. <laughs> so, <laughs> we would put it back into the original box until about five years ago, I had this old soundbar box that fit it. There you go. We put it in there too because nice. it was newer. But the base, you put it in a gar- garbage bag <laughs> and you just like <laughs> taped it next to the box. Yes. Right. Wow. Were you at my place, Dre? Yeah. Yeah, you just know. It was the same as mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're brothers. We're brothers. <laughs> Twisting Tiger. Twisting Tiger. Yeah, so, but it, it's weird though because, like, what do you do? Dre? Celebrate Christmas. Yeah, but no one's shopping Ooh. in September for Christmas shit. Mm. Are you? Are you though? Yeah, buy like buying bucks. Oh, you gotta send it over. So you need like, is that why? I feel like that's you need why an I... extra month to plan. Holy crap! Because so many people send buy like buying boxes. Holy shit. During the holiday season, to start early. So it's Christmas early for them. Christmas because... on time. <laughs> oh, it gets on the boat. Because when the box leaves your house at 5.30 <laughs> September, that's like the math problem. Yeah. Right. <laughs> at what time during Christmas will it arrive? Ass- assuming at- LBC is on regular operation <laughs> yeah. schedule and there are no delays. <laughs> assuming the wind chill factor is <laughs> negative five. Oh, there was a storm that day. <coughs> Mr. Wayne. Assuming okay. there's no typhoon in the Mindanao. They have Thai food there. <laughs> Thai barbecue? Yeah. Wrong typhoon. Typhoon. Oh, wrong typhoon. That's great. Yeah, but like, wow. Why do you think this is a thing? Is it just because there's no other, like, holidays? Like, oh, are we getting deep now? Do, is our people just wanting to celebrate everything? <laughs> they just need a time where they can celebrate shit. Yeah, it's an excuse. It's an excuse. And do you think that's like, because our lives have been so hard that we're just looking for shit? I don't know. I don't mean to take it here. I'm just like thinking out loud <coughs> now at this right. point. Since okay, we're here. Okay, Ed Yeah. Me- <laughs> Baby, I will. Eduardo Sherehan. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what do you think? Like, I'm no Bible reader. Dang. Clearly. You heard it here. <laughs> we got a heathen. <laughs> you want to borrow a Bible? I think I have one. Do you have? <clears throat> um... But the do you Bible think, of Christ. Yeah, the Bible. Do you think that um it has something to do with like religion when you go to church and stuff like that? Like is there like readings that happen at a certain time in September? Yeah, I feel like it was just like a cuz 
the end of October is All Souls Day. All Souls Day, yeah. There's that. And yeah. then it's like, oh, let's start Christmas here. Oh, let's just go back to further Fuck. for September. Yeah, so it's going to be in August by the time yeah. we're adults. I yeah. mean, we're adults. By the time <laughs> we're, uh, we're adulter. In five years. Wait, no. Nope. <laughs> that's not, no, that's we're not, not that. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you're, I'm an adult and you're an adulter. I'm an adulter. <laughs> and then and I'm not... the adultess. <laughs> Wow. Wow. We just learned something <laughs> today. English. English is hard. <laughs> yeah. And so am I. You're the hardest. <laughs> Tagalog is hard there. Yeah. EJ is hardest. Whoops. Comprehension is the hardest. Yeah. I was listening to old episodes because I was trying to figure out what we can make merch out of, like taglines and stuff. Ta- it's called Tagalog. Tagalog, Tagalog lines. Tagalog, yeah. All of them. It's that Filipino code. All the things we've said in Tagalog, just make merch out of it. I mean, that's so what, all. what uh, Christmas traditions do you Filipino like, ones like observing? Queso de bola, like just watching them. Queso de bola is a tradition. It's a Christmas yeah. tradition. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. <laughs> okay, time yeah, flaming hot Hold check queso de bola. Cheese balls sounds like delicious. Cheese balls sounds <laughs> dirty as <laughs> fuck. It sounds like street food. Yeah, cheese balls. Oh. Sounds like alley food. Cheese. Cheese. Who's balls. alley? And I want cheese, her. Cheese. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> you dirty, dirty. Uh, so um, queso, queso de bola? You guys eat that? No. Yeah. Just yeah. like a regular cheese ball? No, it's it's like a Dutch wax cheese. With the, it's all red. Ah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. It's yeah, Filipino, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's Dutch. <laughs> it's from the Netherlands, but it's popularized in the philippines so how what how do you think the first guy who brought that over what was that interaction like oh oh geez. what's that what's that oh it's it's dots <laughs> <laughs> it's what it's dots. Dots. from the Netherlands. that's what <laughs> that's dots that's dots i said that it's a no it's a bowl <laughs> that's bowl <laughs> that's bowl and then you put it in pandasol Dang. Dang. Okay, so what is it? Is it's just like a giant cheese ball? Yeah. And then you cut it. You cut it very thin because it's expensive. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, you know, in the Philippines, <laughs> you cut it so thin that by like by it survives the whole year. Yeah. So you bring out a new. That's one. the point. That's that's what my. Is it really? That's yeah. What, yeah. That's what my mom said when she was growing up. Dang. Her her dad would cut it so thin where it's like if the fan was on, it would fly away. <laughs> That's awesome. And then the sl- thin slice inside the queso de bola. <laughs> the so neighbor would get a free cheese. Yeah. <laughs> he goes like this. <laughs> it's like a Listerine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melted the Listerine. Syrup. He's packets. like, oh. oh. <laughs> it's essence of cheese. Yeah. Queso de bola. Uh, no, I've never done that before. Mm. You should I've try it. It's well, pretty. I'll, I'll buy some, yeah. We, we'll we should it. have but a pandasol. <laughs> he's the Ritz crackers. He's Ritz. Oh, it's good. He's the Ritz and your dots. <laughs> Crackers and cheese. <laughs> hey, don't call him that. <laughs> the Cheese and Crackers podcast. Dang. CNR. We got another. We got another. <laughs> What's up for <thing>? you? <laughs> we got another thing to add yeah, to the, the, cheese, the list. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Because we're Ritz. Uh, Peach Mango Apple podcast. The <laughs> Cheese and Crackers. Cheese and Crackers podcast. CNR. Oh. Those are the types of nurses. Ah. Uh, huh. That's the lowest form. Or, or when you're taking like a vision test, you see an R. C N R. F P J. Fernando Po Jr. <laughs> Definitely better than DNR. Oh yeah. You know what DNR is? Diner. Dance and resuscitate. No, do not resuscitate. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know if I want a DNR. We'll see. You want a DDR? I know it. I do want it. Especially with that bucket bucket hat. <laughs> <laughs> yo yo yo! So 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 for a, th- a merch thing I wanted to do personally, but I think we can do it for Panda Soul. Let's do it. Is bucket ha- hats, but it says bucket bucket, uh-huh. bucket Y on bucket, one side, yeah. and on the back it says Kase because <laughs> down and sell them as bucket hats. Bucket hats. These are bucket hats. <laughs> Take off the bucket. Why? <laughs> bucket why? Oh, that's hilarious. Dude, that, that raver hat is dope. All you need is the visor clipped to your belt loop. I will. I will get one. 
Maybe I already have one. <laughs> I'll get one from home. <laughs> <laughs> from Michael Olsen. Yeah. <laughs> your, your house is so foggy, it got a Klausen. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah, that, you saw my Klausen? That one's more Santa. <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Subject and a predicate and a Claus. <laughs> and a predicate. <laughs> oh, this episode is just all nonsense. Uh, <laughs> did you did you ever try to believe in Santa Claus? Did I ever try and believe? Yeah. No, because my first you know you have memories that like kickstart your sentience. <laughs> what kind of word is this? You know what I'm talking about? No? Yeah. Like yeah. your earliest memory, you're like, oh, I'm a human. Yeah. yeah. And I'm I'm gonna remember this and nothing before. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. One of them was my dad as Santa Claus. The Pinoy yeah. Santa Claus? Dude, okay, so I don't oh you didn't go to that show. Did Same you go to that show? No. Oh okay. I don't go to your Christmas shows. Dang. Because I work. Ah, uh, I see. I go because Good I job. don't work. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sad. So no, there is there uh I opened one of my Christmas shows, there's a story. And it's true, like it's, it was easy to write because it really happened. Where like, I the whole year I wished for one toy. It was the '95 Ninja action figure, the Power Rangers one. Mm-hmm. Damn, right. Ninja. And it like that's the one where you click his back and then his head flips, so he like oh, transforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the fucking arm shot up like Shogun armor. Right. right. So I wanted this gift, and all I did, I did really good in school, and I was like, Santa, this is all I want. That's it. Nothing else. Like, I wrote nothing else in the letter, right? And then I remember I messed up one year. Like, that year, I messed up writing it. And instead of erasing it, I was like, nah, this got to be perfect. Fuck that. And I wrote, I rewrote a new one. And so my mom asked me, and I'm like, no, you're good, because I wrote to Santa. And my auntie asked me, I'm like, no, you're good. I wrote to Santa, but this is what I want. And then so Santa comes up, and he, there's, like, three boxes under the tree. And it's like... I opened the Santa one, and it's the action figure. It's Ninja's action figure. And then the one for my mom and auntie, I opened those up, and they're the same. But those ones had the receipts still. And they're like, oh, we'll just return these because yeah. Santa got you what you yeah. wanted. And I'm like, this is fucking fishy as shit. Yeah. You know? And then, so I was playing, and then family party. And I hear sleigh bells. I'm like, oh, Santa's here. Because, you know, you're a kid. Right. I, was, I think I was like five or six. Sleigh bells. And then my the way I tell the story on stage is like, oh, my Santa looked different because he had um, black hair, a black beard, <laughs> a fucking cigarette in his mouth, and sunglasses. And I'm like, in my head, like looking back at it now, I'm like, yo, I can deal with the cigarette because Santa gets stressed out. I can deal with the sunglasses because, you know, California... My father fucking bought a black beard. Like, he could have bought a white beard. You know what I mean? Right, right. But he wanted Santa to look young that year. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? And the fucking yeah. sack of toys was like a black Glade bag. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. This is the game. Like, this is not it. But yeah. This is what life is. Dang. That was one of my first, my earlier memories. That must sure. have Dang. sucked. No, because I didn't know what to compare it to. Like, now. to me, that's what Santa was. And yeah, then I yeah. learned what the Anglo version of Santa was supposed to be after. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where in my head, I'm like, that's not Santa. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's yeah, not smoking. Dad, show him. <laughs> right. Do you, yeah, I don't know if, like, my family, like, dropped the ball or, like, because at my house. The cheese ball. <laughs> the cheese ball. <laughs> Kiss, Kiss of the, the bola. bola. Uh, who look? Who look? Who look? Because, like, I, 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 like, never believed in Santa Claus because I, I would, like, watch the like, TV. No, no, because, because, like, it was all the, like, Traditional story is Santa Claus comes down in a chimney, uh, and we didn't have, we a, didn't chimney. have a chimney. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, and I'm like, what is he gonna come in through like the oven he or like the the gate? And then like, I think my family would just ask like, oh, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, oh, they would just get it for me or whatever. Damn, that's so, that's so I'm really like, nice. oh, there's no Santa Claus. But then also went to like a Christian school, so they weren't like perpetuating the Santa Claus thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Why not? Jesus is the reason for the season. Uh, Way to rain on the parade. I know. Dang. Uh, apparently, you believe in Santa, dude. Santa was the shit. Still, <laughs> dude, Santa's still the shit. Yeah, I like I like the idea of Santa, or I like Santa in general. I, I like I like the idea of Santa yeah, for I sure. It's, it's a scapegoat. Yeah, Santa Claus. I think it's fun. Like if you want to give your kids shit gifts, and then you're like, oh, it's Santa. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the cool gift. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, Santa gave me a Pez dispenser. <laughs> I have this one already. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> he gave me the one I had. <laughs> How do you get access? Uh, okay, he knows so, when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. So, 
I'm always awake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm somehow both. <laughs> he knows when I'm sleeping because he did it. <laughs> uh, are you, when you have children, are you going to teach them about Santa? In the... <laughs> in the... In the... I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, yeah. Did you ever know, you haven't thought about it? Um, I think it's one of those things where we'll just see how it plays out. I would love to, though. I would love to. I think I would until the age of seven. So they get like three strong Santa years. Damn. That's it's it's sad the way you put it that way. Yeah. Because I felt like. Well, I had no, it. here's the thing. The, and this is why, like, it's harder to quantify things as an adult. Yeah. Because when my godson was um, eight, he was eight years old, yeah. and his his eighth birthday was the same year of Obama's last year as president. And I was like, I was talking about Queen. I'm like, you know what's crazy? This kid has only known a black president, which is dope, right? Yeah. Right. That's and then, dope, like, yeah. the next four years kind of got fucked up. <laughs> right. But whatever. Um, go ahead. Sorry. Oh no 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 no. That's that's interesting. But yeah, yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think I, I I would not teach him. I think it'd be really really fun. Well, here's the thing. I have to teach him that it's not because I don't want him ruining the party for other kids. Wait wait. You don't want to teach him that it's not. So you don't want to teach him that. Yeah. So like when he turns when they he or she or they whatever yeah. they want to be. Yeah. Um, when they turn seven, uh-huh. I got to teach them. I mean, obviously, they're going to find out because, number one, I'm their dad, and I'm going to get lazy. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be caught slipping. You right. know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but Just when like the condom. Yeah. <laughs> I Whoa. love you uh, if you're out there in the future. Yeah. If you're watching this, why aren't you watching episode 1,000? Anyway. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think... Dang, that's like 50 years of episodes. Maybe we hit a really good stride in, like... The two hundreds where we just do every day. Stride right. We won't, but I'm just I'm just rooting for us. Right. You know? Um but Dang, that's three years. <laughs> <laughs> it stop why are you doing that? No, I have to teach them because I don't want them ruining the reality of reality. The magic is a fucked up word. The magic for the other kids. I don't wanna I, I don't want them killing the magic for anyone. Yeah, yeah, correct. Like even if they find out on their own volition. I don't want them killing the magic or killing the vibe for any other kid. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right? Like my I'm gonna very much teach them like, hey, if it doesn't concern you, just like don't talk. Because yeah. your dad has been burned on that shit so many right. times. Yeah. Right. Um but you know, you, you want your kids to do better than you. Right. Um uh, but you also I also want them to like enjoy life one thousand percent. So I'm gonna have to cover Santa the lack of the Santa. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Christmas is going to be extra dope where I'm like, Hey, let's go do more family shit. Like, let's go find Santa. Yeah. Let's go find Santa. You're never going to find him. Yeah. Those are like new traditions you'd come up with. Yeah. Like I like going to, you know how there's houses that have like a Christmas show with their lights. Yeah. I'm never going to do that, but I want to go watch the one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think that's a cool thing to take kids where it's like, Hey, let's go. You know, grab like ice cream and then like just sit on a curb and like watch someone's house light up. Yeah. yeah. Um, or like candy, any candy cane lane thing. Yeah. Or a Christmas fun. photo shoot would be fun. Oh, I'd yeah. always love that. Dude, yeah. What, 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 speaking of like, we cor- should do a Christmas photo shoot. I'm down. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. And All Souls one too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> to both of those. <laughs> I already, I already got the image in mind. Do also. I, Think you mentioning pictures with Santa. One of my like core memories is being taken to take pictures with Santa and just like freaking out. Did you? You looked at him like, <laughs> yeah. I was because because I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Like I was crying. Yeah. My yeah. F- my I remember my foot got stuck on his in his pocket. <laughs> oh man! And I was like that, freaking out. That's the worst. That's the fucking worst. <laughs> and then I think my, we still have the pictures from that. Like that t- is- taking pictures with Santa. I'm like, dude. What's the worst childhood picture you had? Like, I'm never going to look like that ever again. Yeah. Dude, actually, I have so My mom showed me some. Well, why do you have it in your phone? Because I visited my mom, and she so, found these pictures. Bro, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Time out. Time out. Bro. Oh. Yeah, that's Santa event was traumatizing. Santa's wild. I, I never liked 
getting in that stupid line. Dude, we, I think that's more for the parents. We should, we should, we, the three of us should go to the Crenshaw Mall, take a picture with Black Santa. Oh, that's Derek Brown. <laughs> or take a picture with Derek Brown. Well, that works. We could do that. We sit in his lap. I, okay, how fucked up? I think it'd be super funny though. We get all of our friends to dress up like all the deities and just have a photo shoot with like the three of us and all the deities. Bro! Like, Jesus, Buddha, Santa. I mean, Santa's not a deity, but. Can um, be. Yeah. If he's on I think that'd be cool. I think we'd be all dressed up. Yeah. I think we'd be cool as fuck. And we're just like. <laughs> Is that for all Everyone's souls welcome. Day? Yeah. <laughs> all souls yeah. welcome. Coexist. Yeah, yeah, co- <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> The real. Take that bumper sticker. <laughs> right. I think it'd be cool. Dude, I'm down. I'm down. Who's down to be a deity? Huh? I'm sure dude, I'm sure we can get yeah, anyone. We'll, we'll so get at, at least if we pay for who, the so like costume. Who, who, who are who are we then? No, I'm we're just we're just ourselves. We're just fun to solve. We're oh. just chilling with all the deities. I thought we were also dressing up as deities. No, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> any any of the help. Any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Any of the hells. I just want to visit. <laughs> <laughs> no, check I'm in, sure it'll be out. fine, but like, I think it'd be a much funnier photo and promo for the pod that it's just we're ourselves. Like, dude, that r- reminds me of, um, cause I was thinking about like deities and like St. Peter. And then I remember my family, we went to Israel one time mm. and the was whole, it, was it fake? The whole, the whole tour, to, like the tour they were talking about when we went to the Sea of Galilee. They were talking up St. Peter's fish. Like, oh, you got to try St. Peter's fish. Like, the fish that he, like, fished back in the Bible, whatever. And so when we ordered it, they were like, oh, you want the filet or head on? We're like, oh, we're Filipino, of course. Head on, full fish, whatever. Yeah. And so when they served it to us, we're like, huh? It's just tilapia. Yeah. <laughs> We, we felt so cheated, like low key. We buy you fry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is called marketing, guys yeah. and girls. And Would you be more upset if it was delis? <laughs> I'd be like, it's, like this. Well, it's just one. That right. is the least of your concern. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Got you. Nice. But yeah, Saint Fe- Peter's fish is tilapia. Dang. Tilapia. Dude, what if <laughs> what if countries had a you know it's national bird? Yeah. Is there national fish? Yeah. Is it really? Probably. I know the humu 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 That's the that's the uh, Hawaiian uh, fish of Hawaii. National yeah. fish. Maybe you know, the state state fish. I don't know if we have a national fish. I have a national bird. <laughs> I have just the one. Yeah, I'm a nation. His name is. Uh, I'm an Asian. Yeah. National treasure. His name is Spino. <laughs> uh yeah man I think like. September, the Burr months, you know, the gigs are coming in. Oh. Which is nice. Yeah, what about Halloween on All Souls Day? I do I do a bunch of gigs on Halloween. Um weirdest gig I've done is I got booked and they asked me to perform a show and I don't think they knew what kind of magic I did. Yeah. Like I think they were expecting the other kind because they're like <laughs> What is the other kind? Wait. I mean like the movie kind. Because I walked in, and it was just a bunch of middle-aged white ladies. And they're like, welcome to our coven. Oh, and like in my head, I'm magic. Like, yeah, and I'm in my head, I'm like... Witchcraft. Is this real? <laughs> Witchcraft cheese? <laughs> right? Witchcraft cheese do you buy? Singles. And then um, they're like, no, we just call it a coven. <laughs> right? It's coven an oven with a C? Yeah. What is that? That's they're, coven. That's how you... <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> That's Coleman. That's how you bake your <laughs> your k- k- bread. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so COVID nineteen. So, corn beep nineteen. Corn. <laughs> Welcome to our corn beep. Let <laughs> me show you guys something. The corn beep nineteen. Yes. Yeah. Anong virus we got? Uh. Shout out to that Tito. Yeah, yeah, shout out. Hope you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but yeah. Comment if he's alive. <laughs> comment if he's alive. If you're alive, comment. <laughs> yeah, if not, we'll see you at All Souls Day. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, so I went in and they're like, welcome to our coven. But they said it like jokingly. Yeah. But in my head, I got really inward about it. And I'm like... 
if they were a real coven, they would say it jokingly. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, right, like, yeah. Started d- overthinking everything. Yeah. And then I did my show, and I'm like, and there's a duck. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> and they paid me in this, like, little pouch. They put the, the cash in, like, a little pouch. And I took the cash, and I'm like, here, you can have this back. <laughs> oh, the pouch. They're like, no, it's, it's like a thing. And I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> And um, then you went to the priest. No, and then I had ramen. <laughs> because, you know, if you go to a... <laughs> yeah. I have to fuck bug. Yeah. So I leave oh, the ghost right. at the ramen. He place. bug bug. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's true. Did you get a small or a medium? Huh? Oh. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> then you can go. <laughs> to hell. <laughs> <laughs> just come back. Yeah. Yeah, we have to shoot more episodes. <laughs> Guys, the- look what I brought you back. <laughs> Pasalubong from hell. <laughs> fire, <laughs> John. The fire and brimstone. Yeah. Is that egg? No, it's sulfur. No, it's egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I had a thing. Um, Thanksgiving? No, it was. Oh, All Souls Day. Yeah. All For Souls. All Souls Day, who do you want to come visit you? Oh, like. Uh... Oh, like someone who's... Oh, Yeah, man. isn't that the whole thing for All Souls Day? Yeah. Also, we have an episode for All Souls Day, so we should stop talking about All Souls Day. Yeah. <laughs> so and we can only talk about some of the souls? Yeah. <laughs> some Souls Day. <laughs> some Souls Day. I like Reeboks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just some. Some Souls. Yeah. Fila. <laughs> and one. And one. And one. Dude. Dunk. I used to wear and ones all the time. Dude, just I wear up. my K-Swiss with Dang. my jeans. Mm. Dang. Uh yeah, who would you want to? Or if you were dead, who would you visit? You. Wow, dead. I'm dead first though. That's true. <laughs> we just hang out <laughs> the, in the Jolly Bee. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'd probably visit Ember Snow. Wow. You're gonna die before. Her? How, okay. How how would that look if like EJ visits Ember Snow? So you're the ghost of EJ. And I'm Ember Snow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should be like. What's that? <laughs> are you tired? What are you doing? You want a back rub? Yeah. Oh, I like Snoopy. Can I <laughs> tap in? You sound just like me. <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know, man. I don't... Even this year, do you think you're going to like be about it in September? Like the holiday season? You going to feel it? Honestly, with like how just life is going on i feel like it it's just hot, gonna get so fast and like so overlooked that like it won't hit me until like it's january december 26th yeah, yeah. Like, oh my gosh i forgot to buy a present i, I was to supposed church. to do something for a while yeah yeah it's, it's weird for me when i get christmas gigs because i'm like oh yes extra money but it's, or it's like more but it's like oh these are going straight to presents mm. oh so yeah, yeah. Some, at least like some of the gigs where it's like mm-hmm. okay these first two to three gigs are just for to cover expenses for presents or something. Is that how you compartmentalize it? Like you're like, okay, yeah, I'm you this. said that so Filipino. Yeah, compartmentalize. <laughs> compartmentalize. <laughs> Sometimes, because it's <clears throat> mentally compartment. Uh, I thought you come just for some of it, and then you. And then I mentalize. mentalize. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> Dre's right. Ooh, you're left. Ooh. This is the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is right. <laughs> this is left. Here's the middle. That's like the fucking first Filipino sumo. Right. Oh. Nice. Uh, when you do uh, holiday gigs, can you separate the work from the seasonal, like the vibe? I know like when you work, it is the vibe, but like you don't necessarily feel a holiday spirit when you're working, do you? Like, I mean... I'm usually playing Christmas songs. I'm like, oh, okay. Kinda, yeah, but that, I mean, like that, that's it. like, is it more mechanical or are you like actually vibing? Well, f- when I'm playing holiday gigs, like specifically Christmas gigs, <clears throat> like I don't choose to listen to Christmas music because like I'm playing Christmas music. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, Damn. I don't like do extra. So I don't like, or, like get sick of, out. yeah, get sick of the holiday spirit. Yeah. I don't listen to Christmas music until after Thanksgiving. Mm. You and, turn on a, uh, I li- one to 0.5 and then... No, I dude, to I have a playlist. Dude, I listen to this CeeLo Green. CeeLo Green Christmas album with the Muppets. Yep, that's on my playlist. Dude, it's fire. So good. Top CeeLo Green? Yeah. <laughs> Top CeeLo Green. He, do- he does all the voices of all the, like, the characters and stuff. Mm. Oh, wow. Like, it's like really good. Okay. Um, Not until Thanksgiving. 
CeeLo, sorry. Silog. Chris, <laughs> is it me? Your look. Oh, got him. That's another. That's, it. that's another song. Write it down. Write it. I'll just listen to this episode again. Uh, me too. <laughs> when you edit, yeah. Loki, it's pretty fun doing that stuff. You like it? Yeah. That's cool. good. Yeah. Sweet. Not um, Loki. Heike. Heike. Ah. <laughs> Loki. Ooh. It's so low you can't hear it. Oh. 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 Um, but yeah, I think uh, that so. Was y'all good. have to look forward to the All Souls Day episode. All Souls yeah. Day episode. Also, we're we gonna do the Thanksgiving episode specific. Thanksgiving specific episode. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, okay. All Saints Day slash All Souls Day. So we were just talking about the Burr months and yeah, and how we're not into it. to yeah. Christmas. And then there's, there's only three of us. Thanksgiving, huh? How can we foreshadow? <laughs> Jesus is there. Oh. Okay, foreshadow. No, now. because. When we sit this close, there's a fourth chat. See, because oh. oh. when there's two or three gathered, yeah, in Jesus' name, He's just gonna lift we all pray. of us, and you're only gonna see three footprints on the beach. That is lift. Ah. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> Here's the middle. Yes. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that has been another episode of the Panda Soul Podcast, the funniest podcast on the internet. Please keep an eye out for all the things we have coming up. Uh, Santa Claus. Soon. Keep an eye out for Santa Claus. Just one eye. The other eye, keep it in your head because that's where you need it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need head. Wow. Whoa. That's what you said. Can't tell. <laughs> no. You have, you have a girlfriend. Oh. What if like this came out? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> uh, not like that, but I'm just covering bases. <laughs> EJ, edit this out. <laughs> no, leave it in. <laughs> Do I hate you, that that's a running joke now. Yeah. That's going to be a running joke. What were you say? Oh, I was going to say, EJ, do whatever you want. Yeah, do, it, do whatever you want. Sometimes I do. But before that, when I, okay. I said actually cut it out, please actually cut yeah. that out. Or I will have to go back. <laughs> uh, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, go on all the internet things. It's getting hot in the studio. Um, go on all the internet things, all the social medias. Click all the buttons. You leave guys all are the comments. Long pants. You should wear short pants. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These are called... These are... Long shorts, because I yours are your legs, huh? That costs extra. You have to subscribe for that one. Click all the buttons. Yeah, um, click calves. all the buttons. Oh, look at these Watch. Calves. Wow. Dang. Wow. Cleveland's got nothing on your calves. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Legs. I'm gonna stand here and whistle, <laughs> 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 trying to catch a calves. <laughs> <laughs> what else? That's it. Cool. For now. Uh, do all the internet things like share subscribe follow comment leave a review tell your friends somebody reach out to Nectar and have them reach out to us dude yeah hit us up Nectar also Filipino American History Month is coming up if you have a brand that you want us to check out um, we have a short list that we're already going to but shoot us a line and we'll we'll try and hit you guys up we have, we have a bunch of Filipino apparel already however we won't wanted to specifically support. feature and support yeah. especially and i think we'll make it yeah, a yearly one, thing right what is this the ruby abara apple wang od from from uh beat rock nice Let them. yep yeah and that is kobe bryant he's not filipino but <laughs> my uh he, i saw him do a tinikling once my friend bought this in the Philippines. Oh, wow. That's, close that's, that's, the that's, shirt. that's why he looks familiar. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, he's looking at me weird. <laughs> the guy, the guy's not Filipino, but the shirt is. <laughs> exactly. It's not Kobe, it's Koba. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. All right, but um, yes, please do all the internet things. Support us. And um, check us out on all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Also... Do I want uh, Facebook still? You know what? I, I do it because... I auto post and whatever gets posted on Instagram gets posted on Facebook same time. Oh, get on. Uh, get on. Nice. Um, big brain moves. Yeah. Or just like lazy. I don't. It's big brain moves. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us for another episode. Uh, just like any other Filipino party, uh, the goodbye <laughs> is always the longest. Right. And as always, don't forget your bot one. Peace. Oh, sige na, pandis. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Pandisol. And check out previous episodes on Spotify and YouTube. Thanks for laughing and join us next week because there's enough Pandisol to go around. And, and don't, don't forget, forget your baon! baon.